Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making the classic Cantonese steamed pork patty with fermented salted fish. So let's uh, review the ingredients here. I have some ground pork and I have a piece of uh, salted fish that's uh, soaking in warm water. And the dry salted fish I'm using is the uh, Corvina fish from Venezuela. And this is by far the best salted fish you can find. It's going to have that unctuous uh, taste and aroma. If you have access to a Chinatown, you can find this at the dry goods store. It's usually hanging in front of the window or maybe even near a meat counter. And if you can't find this, I also will provide a link to a comparable uh, salted fish in the recipe box. And here I have water chestnuts, ginger, green onion, cornstarch, Shaoxing wine, sesame oil, baking soda, white pepper and seasoning salt mix. And also for the ground pork, uh, make sure you, you get it with a, a decent amount of fat. You don't want to get too lean. It'll be too dry when you steam it up. And for the prep, we can start off with the salted fish. We're going to uh, scale it. You can just use a fork. And eating salty fish may be a acquired taste, but if you like uh, anchovies, um, durian fruit, I think you'll like this. And this fish is really delicious. And for the salty fish, I'm going to cut it into three pieces. And I'm going to leave the fins on. It's very tasty. You can suck on it while you're eating. Let me wash up here and we can proceed with the rest of the prep. And next, we can uh, chop up the water chestnut. And the water chestnut is just going to give the dish a, a bit of texture. And it doesn't need to be uh, too fine. a small chop. Okay, so that's good. And next we'll mince and slice up some ginger. I'm going to mince about maybe a tablespoon of ginger. Give it a fine mince. And I'm going to add the minced ginger to the pork. And for the rest of the ginger, I'll slice it and cut it into fine strips. And next we'll give the green onion a quick mince. So now let's marinate the pork. I'll put it into a bigger bowl for mixing. Add in all the water. some of the seasoning salt mix, the white pepper, sesame oil, Shaoxing wine, add some uh, baking soda, and this is going to help tenderize the pork. 
and it's going to make it fluffy and like cornstarch. And the cornstarch is going to give it a really velvety uh, texture. And also help hold the pork patty together. And at the same time, I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of the salted water, fish water. And while you're mixing it, I like to mix it in one direction. I think I'm going to add a couple more tablespoons of the water. This is going to create a really light and fluffy uh, pork patty. And as you can see, the pork is a uh, Binding up quite nicely. Now I'm going to transfer the pork mixture onto my steaming plate. Uh, make sure you use a plate that's deep enough and uh, with a level bottom. You don't want to use a concave uh, bowl that will cause an uneven cooking. My mom also taught me to kind of put little holes in the pork patty. And I think this will help it cook faster actually. And all these little nooks and crannies, the um, juices is going to go all in between the pork. It's going to taste delicious. Now I'm going to place the salted fish right on top. And you can use as much or as little salt to fish as you like. A little sprinkle. The shredded ginger right on top. Okay, so all the prep is done. Uh, so let this sit and marinate for at least uh, 15 minutes and then we can start cooking. To cook this dish, I have a steaming rack in a big pot of boiling water. The heat is set at a medium high. Place the dish in. And we'll cover it and steam it at medium high for 15-20 minutes. And we'll be back to check on it. Okay, 15 minutes has elapsed. Let's check on the steamed pork. Wow, that looks really good. Let's cut into it and make sure it's cooked all the way. Oh, definitely. And you can tell that the pork is really nice and fluffy and airy. It's not going to be a, a hard packed piece of meat. That looks good. So turn off the heat. I'm going to sprinkle it with the green onions. And put the cover back on. And the residual heat is going to be enough to cook away the rawness of the green onions. We'll cover for about a minute. Okay, a minute is up. Oh, that looks so good. So uh, let's serve this. I have this nifty gadget that can remove a hot plate from the pot. And here we have a most delicious plate of steamed pork patty with fermented salted fish. This is the ultimate classic Cantonese old school comfort food. The unique unctuous flavor and texture of the salted fish goes really well with the light and fluffy minced pork patty. It's super yummy. You're going to have a big smile on your face when you down this with multiple bowls of steaming hot rice. It's so, so delicious. Oh, but let me show you what the fish looks like. And you can eat it skin and all. And this really is the best salted fish you can buy. And you can see that it's tender. It's going to melt in your mouth and it's oh, so delicious. I think this is one of my favorite uh, foods. I ate a lot of this when I was growing up. Enjoy! Oh, 
Okay, let's see. Shadow likes this old school comfort food. Oh, yummy. She loves the minced pork patty. Thank you for watching, everyone. Until next time, eat well and be healthy. Join me on Facebook. Good girl.